Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, February 14th, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I take the vibes and make them mine. And today, happy Valentine's Day if you celebrate and if you're kind of over what the world does to holidays in general, then this is your opportunity to take the vibes and make them your own. See, that's the thing is like we participate willingly or unwillingly in all of these unfoldings, right? And yet when I looked at the astro, <laughs> when I looked at the astro, fun, fun, fun stuff, um, I was like, oh, I see. And I heard Rumi's quote, wherever you stand, be the soul of this place. So let's talk a little bit about this. <laughs> so we have today some pretty good astro. It's decent. We are building to that Venus-Neptune conjunction, which can be good, can help, can make us go a little overboard in regards to pleasure or that desire for oneness, especially if we're hoisting that on to another person. Um, or even escapism, for that matter. And we're building into that Sun-Saturn conjunction, which is coming in on Thursday, which is, like, heavy. So we have, like, we are in the clouds and cotton candy, or, like, this heavy responsibility energy. And yet smack dab in the middle is Lilith. <laughs> I love this. So Lilith, Black Moon Lilith, in the astro, oscillates. And... I follow the true Lilith. There is a meme Lilith that you can follow that's kind of more regulated, but the true Lilith that I look at, one day Lilith is over here and the next day she's swung wildly back over here. So today we have Lilith holding space opposite the Sun and Saturn in Aquarius. And I was thinking about that beforehand. I was like, oh, it's so interesting, you know, Leo being the opposite sign of Aquarius. There's so much love between the signs of Leo and Aquarius. Leo <laughs> can be love for oneself or love for a beloved energy. But Aquarius is, I love the community. I, please don't hate me if you're Aquarius. I love the world. <laughs> Here to serve the world as Aquarius energy. And yet Lilith is holding that space, reminding us, hold and root in this love of yourself, wherever you stand, be the vibe of this place. So in my mind, the Lilith rebellion energy and the rebellion energy of Aquarius together is like, we don't have to keep practicing these holidays and making them about what the world has made them out to be. In, that's a that's a heck yes from Mahalo if you heard that. <laughs> um, Leo himself, he's like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can decide what you're gonna do with the vibes. Now, of course, like if you go into any store, you know, for one more day, it's filled with flowers that are double the price than usual chocolates, cards, everything is pink and red. Um, and none of that. We need none of that to show our love. We need none of that to be love. You don't have to engage with that. Of course do if that matches where you're at, what you want, you know. But more so than that, rather than be like poo-poo about Valentine's Day, it's like, yeah, I'm going to celebrate love. I'm going to celebrate love and be that vibe. And let love be that vibe. I saw a meme, which I'm now like want to find and post. Um, it's like, love is not just about someone. Love is about everything you do. And to me, this is how we take and shift that vibe and become the soul of the place. How can you make love be in everything that you do? That to me is service, and that is bringing this beautiful polarity of the Lilith Sun, Lilith Saturn vibes um, 
turns those Saturn shootinesses up on their heads, right? And that goes so beautifully along with Venus and Neptune conjuncts on Wednesday. How can you be the embodiment of love, the embodiment of, I think, the most powerful creative force on this planet? So this energy works it all in. <laughs> that being said, do what you do. Do as you do. So today, besides those energies building and feeling this little, little rebellion opposition going on, we have the moon in Sagittarius, which the moon in Sagittarius makes everything bigger. So there may be grand gestures of love. And I do have to say for the evening, the moon and Mars in Gemini are going to be in opposition. Opposition can be like a tug of war or it can be like we're working together. And this again feels kind of like we have the cotton candy vibes or we have these heavy shoddy vibes uh, coming in with this. And it almost feels like it's a toss of a dice, a roll of a dice, which, which end you're going to experience in this energy. And I think the way to find that balance, Hollow came in to to share his belief of this, wearing his little pink hoodie. <laughs> um, it's been a cold winter. He needs a little extra support. Um, be the soul of the place. Find that balance by being love. Now, of course, anytime the moon and Mars engage, there can be temper tantrums. The day may not unfold or be unfolding the way you wanted, you know, as you had this ideal of it. But I think sometimes we also have to trust that the way things unfold is kind of like the universe's responsibility to our responsibility, you know? And so there's always that opportunity to shift. And Mars reminds us, where can you shift? And Sagittarius is like, which way are you looking? What is your direction? What is your aim in this energy? Leading up to it, we have fiery energy. <laughs> we have Moon and Jupiter connecting. Moon and Sagittarius, Jupiter in uh, Aries. I'm like, what degree is Jupiter? I didn't even look. Jupiter at eight degrees. We also have Moon and Chiron trining. So beautiful opportunity for healing, and maybe that healing is coming through loving what is, standing being that soul of the place, offering love to the energies that are showing up. <laughs> However, there may be impatience and lots of passion uh, pushing us today as well in and through this. We begin the day, oops. We begin the day <laughs> with um, the moon and Mercury in connection. Actually, that's, I mean, while most of us are sleeping, sleep may be a little challenging and your mind may have lots of big ideas of what it wants to do. But make the biggest idea of love. See where you can sink into that idea. Now, the top of the cards I have today is understanding. And I think that's one of the gifts of love is holding understanding for where people are. Let them be their soul in their place. You be the soul of your place. Where are you directing yourself? Where are you aligning yourself? And taking that energy and using that as transformation power. No comparison needed, right? No no needing to, to sit like, oh, they're doing it this way. Am I doing it wrong? Or they're doing it this way. They should be doing it my way. Not needed. We don't need that dogma. It's funny because we have the nothingness card again in reverse. And to me, this is like check your dogma, check your beliefs, and where it's getting yourself stuck. And this might be in relationship with others as well in this. And that might be again that comparison card. And we're bringing in understanding instead of this comparison. The final card that I have is the slowing down card in reverse. And I think between the fire and the air energy. <laughs> oh, um, cold play. The speed of the speed of sound just popped into my head with this. So things are moving rather fast. And if you're displeased with a situation, see where you can shift and trust that the universe is working that shift with you. Let the universe's responsibility help you work 
your personal responsibility. Instead of trying to hit a grand slam against the universe, let's try to play tennis and see how that goes. If that metaphor works for you, because that just popped into my head. Um, finishing with a roomy card. Oh, dear one, don't run away from the heat of the fire. What would happen if you risk it all and take a step into the flame? So leaving that here for today, you could book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and honor your values. Namaste.